Right, so the major cities that you'd find, like Durban or uh, Richards Bay, um, Manzimtodi, Port Shepston, places like that, they're very similar to what you would find on any other coastal city, right? You've got, you know, high-rise buildings, you've got, um, you know, apartment complexes and all sorts of things, universities, they're, um, it's very first world, right? Uh, the big difference is when you go rural, it's, it's, um, all of a sudden it's like walking into a third world country. Uh, and a lot of the rural areas are just the way they've been for the last hundred of years, you know, with just the traditional um, African tribes living there and a lot of their, you know, religious traditions and their um, family traditions, cultural traditions. So it's uh, kind of a stark contrast to what you would get if you were living in the city. And as I mentioned from the segregation period, they have established townships which are basically entire towns that are made out of government housing. And um, a lot of the, the Zulu people, or whatever the native people would be, Hosa or you know, Sutu or otherwise, they, would, they tended to be put in the government housing in the earlier years. So um, if you serve in a township, there's a lot of you know, LDS wards and chapels in these townships. And um, we would drive in every day and we would proselyte all day and drive out and, and live actually in the cities nearby the townships. And, uh, and I mean, the, it's more like the rural areas and the townships because it's just more concentrated with the people of Zulu culture. Uh, but it's a warm and friendly place to be and I, I never felt threatened when I was there and I was always welcomed. and. Um, I mean, that's the case it is, is something I learned over the course of my mission was that people, they're generally friendly, they like to meet you, they like to find out who you are, and, and um, no matter where you are, who you are, where you're from, uh, you can always count on people being, you know, nice to you.